Check out this cool AI receptionist that I built out using Retail AI. It's for a fictional company, Mike's Plumbing. I want to take it for a spin and show you guys. As I'm going through the call, it's going to be executing backend workflows within make.com to get the context for calendar, get the availability, schedule the service call, and then afterward, it's gonna run through this scenario for a post call analysis. This is Mike's Plumbing, how can I help you? Hey, what's up? So I don't have any more hot water. I think my hot water heater went out. Thanks for letting me know. No hot water is definitely frustrating. Would you like to schedule a service call to have your water heater checked and repaired? Yeah, when's the soonest you could make it out to my home? One moment while I check the soonest available times for a water heater issue. Let me check Mike's schedule for the soonest available service slots. I can offer a four hour service call for your water heater. The soonest available times are tomorrow, October 3rd at eight o'clock AM or October 3rd at three o'clock PM. Which works better for you? Tomorrow at eight o'clock should work. Great, I'll reserve tomorrow at eight o'clock AM for your water heater service. What's your full name? John Smith. Thanks, John. What's a good phone number for you? 801-123-4567. Thank you. Next, what's the street address where you need the service? 123 Main Street, American Fork. Got it. Lastly, could I get your email address for the booking confirmation? Mason at digitalhiveworks.com. Thanks for that. Let me confirm your details. Four hour service call for a water heater issue tomorrow, October 3rd at eight o'clock AM. Phone number eight, zero, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Address one, two, three, Main Street, American Fork. Does everything look correct? Yeah, that sounds right. Perfect, I'll get your appointment booked now. One moment while I finalize everything, you're all set. I've booked your four hour visit with Mike's Plumbing for tomorrow at eight o'clock AM. You'll get a confirmation and reminder. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, nope, that's it, thank you. Thanks for choosing Mike's Plumbing, John. Have a great day. Boom, and just like that, it captured all of my details correctly. So my email address, my phone number right here, my street address, everything. It scheduled the proper time slot inside of my calendar. So tomorrow, October 3rd, 8 a.m., it's four hours because it's a lengthy service call to replace a water heater. And yeah, we're good to go. And the agent automatically hung up for me. Popping over to our CRM, this is Airtable. So this is our AI agent conversations table. We have the date, we have the name, we have the email, phone, and the entire transcript of the conversation that was had. And we also added John Smith to the opportunities table, right? Our customers or leads, whatever you want. We added them and their record to this table right here. So if I scroll over, John Smith booked call. Uh, we have the email, we have the phone, we have the street address. We also have some notes for us. So water heater not working, no hot water with all of their information as well. A real world use case for an AI receptionist such as this one. If Mike wants this as the front end AI receptionist, that's awesome. Mike doesn't have to lift a finger. Let's say Mike has someone on his team or he himself wants to answer all of the calls or as many calls as he can get to. But let's say um, the phone rings, he can't get to the phone. We want a fail safe and we want to route all of those calls that are unanswered from Mike or whoever on the team and gets connected to make sure that no lead, no customer slips through the cracks. So we'll connect them up to this AI receptionist as a fail safe to make sure that it still gets the job done and books people into the calendar. So more money for the business. This is built out on retail AI. So I'm using GPT 4.1 as the brain. I'm hooking it up to a voice on 11 labs. I have a multilingual capabilities. It's really cool. These AI receptionists, these AI voice agents can speak many, many languages. So that's really cool. Uh, in case you have a customer who maybe speaks Spanish, but if you don't have, if you don't have like your human receptionist or you yourself, if Mike doesn't speak Spanish, right? 
this guy can actually perform better and capture way more customers. So you'll see I have all these functions right here being called in the background, which are these functions right here or these automations inside of make.com. So whether you build them out on NADN or make.com, it's the exact same. And honestly, even down to pricing, unless you're self-hosting on NADN, the pricing is still 50-50. And in my opinion, make.com is just my preference. I can build out automations much quicker on make versus NADN. I have a full one hour tutorial video going over everything, building it out from scratch with you guys, all of the configuration, how to configure and set up all of these automations in the background. Or if you guys just want the template files without the tutorial video, I have that available for you over in the free community. I have a link for you guys. Just go ahead and click it. It's either up above or down below in the description. Once you join, you'll be able to find it underneath YouTube resources or inside of the classroom, you'll find it underneath free resources right here. And of course, if you want more content, if you want more advanced tutorials and all of my templates, then come join us over in Automate What Academy Pro. You can find the link to the pro community right here or over in my bio. Thanks guys.